And when we hear, the, when we listen to the word of God, the word of God changes our life. You are here because you heard the word of God. And it, it changed your direction. Taking you to your destiny. Let's read from verse 1. And the hand of the Lord came upon me and brought me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley and it was full of bones. And he caused me to pass by them all around. And behold, there were very many in the open, in the open valley and indeed they were very dry. And they say to me, Son of man, can these bones live? So I answered, O oh Lord, you know. Again he said to me, Prophesy to these bones and say to them, Bone, dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God, These bones surely will cause. I will cause breath to them, and they, you, you shall live. I will put this news on you, on you, and then bring flesh upon you. Cover you with skin, and they put breath in you, and you shall live. Then you shall know that I am the Lord, verse 7. So I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I prophesied. There was a noise, and suddenly a rustling, and the bones came together, bone to bone. Indeed, as I looked, the snooze and the flesh came upon them, and the skin covered them moreover, but there was no breath. And they said to me, prophesy to the breath. Prophesy, son of man, and they say to the priest, Thus says the Lord God, Come from the four wind of breath and breathe on this slain, slain, that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded, as he commanded me, and the breath came upon them, and they lived, and they stood upon their feet, an exceedingly great. Amen. Father, I want to thank you this morning. I glorify your name. Lord, you are worthy, mighty, gracious God. There is no other God like you. Lord, we have come before you this morning. That Lord, you are, you, can, you are going to speak to us. I pray that you are going to open our spiritual ears, Lord, to hear your word. And speak to our lives, Lord. I thank you and I worship because I know you are with us in this place. I pray that you are going to move with us, Lord. Open our spirit, open our spiritual ears, and open our spiritual eyes to see the goodness you have kept for us. Lord, we thank you, we worship you, and we adore you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Praise the Lord. You know, when we hear the word of God, we cannot remain the same again. The word of God will have to change. The word of God will have to change the life of somebody. This where we have read, we have read about this servant of God. He was the only man, the only person who was being referred as the son of man. In the entire book, he is the only one who was called being referred as the son of man. The other one is, was Jesus Christ when he came. My topic will be life in the, dry, in, in the valley of dry bones. Where we have read, we have, we have seen that this servant of God was sent to the valley full of, blood, full of dry and dry bone. He was sent there to take a word because the word of God is powerful and it can change any situation. The word of God is living. The word of God itself is life. The word of God gives life where there is no life. The word of God restores life. So this servant of God was sent to the valley. Full of bones. 
This is a valley where there, where there, there was no life. It was not the valley of death. It was a valley where there was no hope. Nothing was living in that valley. There was no sign of life. The only sign of life there was this man who was sent there. The other things, it was the valley of death. And why was he sent there? Because God has a, has a purpose. God wanted to restore life to that valley. He wanted to, to give life to those dead born. As we read in the book of Jeremiah 29, 11, God has got a good plan. He had a plan to give life, to take life to that valley where there was nothing which was living. He wanted to restore life. What, what, what has been destroyed, he wanted to restore. To give up to those born. We have read that the board, the valley was full of was full of bones. And not, not bones alone. They were dry. The Bible says they were dry. It was valley full of death. It was a valley where everything was quiet. But the, the man of God, the servant of God was sent there so that he might take life there. You know nowadays we are living the life. We are living a life full of dry bones. The devil has pushed us to the corner. Where everything is dry. Whatever you are doing, it is not succeeding. There is life. God, the devil has pushed us there where there is no life. You try to work out your things, they are not working. He has put us to the corner where everything you are doing, it is not, not working the way you want it to work. You are in the life where everything is difficult. The, the hands are not meeting. You try to work, and the things they are not working the way you want them. This is a valley of loneliness. Where you know what want to, to identify with you. Chetanya majaribu kutueka pali. Ambaye ni pale ya umasikini na ufukara. Hamekueka kwa kona ambaye ni kona ya shida. Hamekueka kwa tika ukona ya ata ya ungojwa. Pale hamekueka nobody likes you. Una yu okiwa na kitu wakuna mtu anakupenda. Ukiwa kwa na pesa you have got so many friends. Many people will apply to be your friends. Lakini pesa ikisho. Uta watafuta. Hakuna mtu utapata. The devil has tried to put at where, in a corner where we will be suffering always. He would try to squeeze our lives where nothing is working for us. When the devil puts in that valley of dryness, nobody will like you. But in this other situation, God is there with you. And then God will help you. You know the hand of God will reach you wherever you are. And the hand of God is fighting for you. In this valley where, you are, where the devil has put us, 
Amweka kwa pahali ambayo. Uko na kila kitu, uko na barua sote. You have all the documents. Lakini hakuna kasi. Na wengine ulikuwa nasoma nao, hata wale antiku wa siku ilo wale imbaliza. Wengine wana antiku tu wakiwa kwa shule. Because they have got they have got their got fathers and got mothers. And they say to you, you don't have those people. We call them total people to hold you. Yo sababu unazumbuka hapo na tafuta kasi. But I want to tell you that you have got somebody bigger than God in God, God fathers. You have got the father. And when you have got the father, you will make it. So don't be worried with those who have got, got fathers or got mothers. You have got the father. And he will stand with you. And he will make a way for you. In this valley, where the devil has put us, It is a valley where nobody will like you. Where your friends will abandon you. No ki wapo ata marapiki wata kusimia simu. You know where I was working? Sikuli letuaka mbulangu ya nikilimalisa kasi na nekafuka yon gate. Marabikiwa ngeta wale zima simu. Unapikia mtu simu inakuwa ni engage kisa ayote. Chetani atamali, atajaribu kukweka pali. Where you don't have friend. Ata pali likuwa nafanya kazi, niki ingi uko na kwanza na itish wa ND. Alikuwa na ingia mbila kuitish wa ND. Iyo siku nilitoa kwa tuli kama tulikuwa maandrui. Na tu na maandrui. In this valley, the devil will try to fight your life. Chetani ya kikuingisa kwa hiyo. Ponde ama motaro vile uteyita. Haki kuingisa hapo. Marabiki wana kuwasha. Ulikuwa na shumbia mtu wawe akutaki. Na mpikia zimu wana kusimia. Na mulikuwa munaomba na ee muawane. Sasa nakuambia uowe. Anakuambia uombe. Hata kisikia kuambia uombe. Mapenzia muki yonekani ujua mewashwa. Kwa to mulikuwa munaomba na sasa unambua uombe. Because you are in that valley. In the third valley, there is financial challenges. Which may say of Karan or Maskin. In the third valley. In the third valley. Quando on a cool a kill or taki. But I will not cool a kill afford. No, I should value Utaki Kutaki Utaki Kuish Apple. Because of the condition in your nation. But I have a word for you. You are not remaining there forever. You are not remaining there permanently. You are just passing to your destiny. So don't, don't, don't think that you are going to remain there. Iyo kasi unataputa, utataputa miaka yote, utapata kasi. Na hiyo kuhu likuwa nataka kuhu wataowa. Na huyo alikuwa na kuambia ahombe, uombe mutaomba na ee. Because you go to change the situation which no man can change. In which, in whatever In Psalms 23, verse 4, though I walk through the valley of death, 
You are just walking through the valley. You are making it. You are not going to stay there. David was walking through the valley. But he feared no death. Because he was not going to die. He was just going, walking through the valley. The valley of death. So you are not going to die there. In whatever situation, you are not going to die there. You are just passing through your destiny. So don't be afraid of what is happening in your life. God has got a plan for you. And God has got a purpose for you. And you know, one thing, you are present and your future is in the hands of God. So you don't have what time to worry. Because God has taken care of your present and your future. And he has got a good plan for you. He is planning good things for you. He is planning to change that situation. In which you, you think nobody can change it. God can change it. And he is planning to change that situation. And he is planning to give you peace in that situation. And he is going to make, to make to keep uh, preparing a future for you while you in that situation. Because the word of God tells me that he will give you a future and a hope. So wherever you are, my brother, my sister, God is making a way for you. Because always God has got good plans for you. And he thinks good things towards you and in your life. And in the first three, where we have read, there was a question which this servant was asked. And they said to me, first three, Son of God, Son of Man, can this bones live? So I answered, Oh Lord, you know. He was asked a question, first question there. Can these bones live? Can this situation where I am in, can, 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 can I make it? Why did this situation? Will I make it in life? Might be you, you ask yourself the same question. Will I make it in life? Will I get employment? Will I be restored to the way I've been working? Is there hope in the situation where you are in? That was the question which was, which was asked in this, in this past. Might it be you in the same you in the same situation, asking a question. Will I ever make it in life? Will I ever get married? And this servant of God, he answered in a way where nobody, nobody else could answer the question. He did not say yes or no. When he was asked, son of man, can these bones live? So I answered, oh Lord, you know. God you knows your condition. God knows what you are going through. God knows what you, your expectation. God is aware of your sickness you are going through. God is aware that you need a job. God is aware that you need a business. So he was, he, he was answered. He answered the God, oh Lord, you know. God knows all about you. So there is nothing to worry about because God knows about you. God sees you as, how you are struggling in life. He knows and he sees. God knows that you are going through the life of challenges. But the other week we are told that we should challenge the challenges by the pastor. He knows the challenges you are going through. Might it be you are going through the challenges in your offices. Might it be you are going through family challenges. 
But I want to encourage. Thank God for those challenges we are going through. Because he's making a way. Thank God for those family challenges we are going through. Because after all, you thank God for that family you are. Many people are looking for families. To give them challenges and don't get them. Shukuru Mungu. Kwa hiyo mwisho unafikiri anakusumbua nyumbani. Wengi wanatafuta wazee na wapati. Afadhali uko na hiyo mwisho anakusumbua. That is a prayer item. You have got a prayer item in the house. Thank God for that challenges you are going to the office. People are looking for offices they don't have them. That is a prayer time for you in that office. Thank God for those business challenges. People are trying to make in businesses. But they cannot make it. But because you have got a business challenge, thank God for that. You have that business which is giving you challenges. Sikumboya zubili kwanda na kwanga nakatuka na usanka kalamu ipi na stationary. Nekaona mzazi alimekuja. Hameshika mutoto masikio. Anafuta masikio. Kwa thawe mepotesa kalamu. Nani asubui. Sasa mutoto analia. Ananua kalamu. Nika mulisa kwa ninini. Kanambi mutoto ni kiale zisanda. Nanuanga kalamu kila siku. Bila liliambia roo ya usasi ikaamuka. Nika muambia you are very like yuko na mutoto kama ya nakusumbua. Kwa sabu ya kalamu ya shilingi kumi. Iko mutu hakona pesa mingi, hakona mbangari, na hakona nyumba, na hakona, na hakona bibi, na hana mutoto. So thank God for this shout. Halitoka wakanebea sita mushuna tena. Nika muambia kwa wasasi wengi. God hears our cries. Every tears you have shed, God, God sees the, all the tears. There is this lady in Genesis. Huyu alembi wa ende. Hakapatua maji na shakula. Kalikuwa raitu haka. Na mdoto wa keshmai. Asupu moje liamuka wakabi wa waende. Wakapatua maji na shakula. Na wakaenda. Wakengia kwa njangwa. Mpaka maji ikaisha. Shakula ikaisha. Sasa mtoto wakansa kulia mama. Ne mama na muangalia mungu. Na kwa njangwa. Ikafiku wakati ikaona imesidi. Hakaweka mtoto chini ya mti. Na haka ensi nante kusimama makando. Haka sema sitaki kuona mtoto yangu hakilea haki kufa kwa sabu ya, ya kiu. Haka mweka na haka enda kando. Mtoto wakufi hakiwa muoni. Lakini hapo hapo mungu hakasikia sauti ya kileo ya mtoto. Na haka tuma malaika. Akaja akamwambia akaambia mama fungua macho. Hapo mbele iko maji. Mungu alisikia kileo ya mtoto. Na wewe uko hapa kama mtoto ya Mungu, hata sikia kileo yako. Si unalilia nini? This child was crying for water. And the water was brought to the desert by an angel. Kile jodo unalilia Mungu atakupatia. Because you are the shout of God. And God will take care of you. That God who provided water in the desert will provide for you. It doesn't matter where, in which desert you are in. God will provide. You are looking for a job. God will provide a job for you. You are looking for a, for a promotion. God will promote you.
Because God hears our cries. He sees our tears. So can this situation you wish you are in, can it change? Me, I will say, I will tell you, yes, to change. As long as you are with God, it's going to change. Because God changes the impossible situations. What man cannot change, God can change. After all, you are the shout of God. And he's speaking away, he's speaking away for you. In that situation you are in, in that condition you are in, God is speaking away for you. Don't just look at God and you see what God can do with your life. God had the cry of the shout and he came and rescued them. God will be on your side. And when you are on, when God is on your side, everything will work the way you want. I want to promise you that in which situation you are in, God is going to take, to take control. Because there is nothing impossible with God. He is the same God who makes way where there is no way. Where you don't see a way, God will make a way for you there. Where you have reached the end, God will begin from there and take you ahead. God will make opens for you. Opens for whatever you want to do. For God opens those doors which the devil has closed against our lives. And the God we serving is simple to do all things for us. And as I've been seeing in verse 4, the Bible says, the man of God was told, was told to prophesy to the dead born. And he, say, he says, when he prophesied, when he, took, when he spoke the word of God to those dead, to those born, there was a voice. A voice started coming. A born taking his position. There was a noise of life being restored. In whatever condition you are, my brother, The word of God will make a difference. Every boy, every boy took its position. And because where there is life, there is noise. The noise started coming. The word of God will change that situation. That is training situation which you are in, God will, will take care of. Some broken marriages will be put to hold. Marriages mean that me have a shida. As you can corona. That's what you are saying in the one house, but you are not together. But that is not the will of God. Verse 5. Then the Lord said to Moses, Go to the people of Israel, the people of Israel, the people of Israel, the people But God can heal that situation. He will restore your relationship. Sio bazu vizuri mnaka kwa nyumba na mko para leo. Amwezi kutana. But God will make a change. God will challenge those challenges which are challenging you. Because you are the shout of God. Just allow God to take over your life. Allow God to work your to work to work his, his ways in you. Because God is faithful. 
And he says that he will never leave nor no forsake us. God will not allow you to be suffering all the time. There is a solution. God is our solution. So I want to encourage you, my brother, my sister, whatever you are going through, there is a way out. And our solution is God. So you involve God in your problems, he will solve all the problems. So when the bones were coming together, there was a noise of life. God will bring life to that situation. That situation which, you mean, which, which is in dry in your life, God will bring life there. He will bring a change. And you walk victorious, knowing that whoever is in you is greater than you is in the world. Knowing that there is somebody fighting all the battles for you. All you need to do is stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Stand still in the word of God. Stand still in faith and you see what God is going to do. Because God has got good plans for you. God has got good plans for your family. God has got good plans for your children. God has got good plans for your business. While the others are failing, you are not, you are, yours is not going to fail. While the other marriages are failing, yours is not going to fail. Because God is there with you. And God will stand with you. And God will manifest his power in you. Because you are the child of God. So let us serve this God faithfully. Let us stand in the word of God. Let us increase faith. And you see what God is going to, to do with us. So might it be you are there. You are passing through hard times. You are passing through challenges. Things are not working the way you are want. You have been praying for something. And you, you think he, God does not God does not hear you. God has had you, he's just making a plan for you. So don't give up. Others the Bible says. Pray without ceasing. You pray, you get the answer. You don't get the answer, you pray. How was it to pray? That God, God will be done. So it doesn't matter what you are going through. It doesn't, it doesn't matter the challenges you are passing. Just let God take over. And you see the victory. The victory is ahead. Because you have to reach your destiny. You have to reach your destiny. So I know God is going to do something in your life. Just look at him. He is there for you. And he has got good plans for you. Let's stand. Might be you are there, you say, you want us to pray with you because of whatever you are going through. You have not taught us, but God knows. And he is the only one who can make you go through. He's the only one who can answer your prayers. So I want to pray with you, wherever you are, that God will make you go through those allergies, that God will make a way for you, that you will see the victory of the victory, the victory of the Lord in your life, that you are going to get what you have been praying for, because God is faithful. Father, I want to thank you this afternoon. Lord, you have, what, you, are, you have heard your word that you are, God, you are able to do exceedingly abundantly above what you ask or pray, according to the power which you are with us. Father, I want to thank you for every listener. I want to thank you, Lord, for every brother and sister who is here. Lord, I know we are going through many challenges in life. But Lord, you have promised to be with us and to be our help. Lord, you are present help. 
in every problem. We want to thank you because you are promised. And your promises are yes and amen. Those, Lord, among us who are sick, I want to pray for the divine healing. That you are going to extend your hand of healing and heal thy people. Those who have got relatives who are sick, I want to pray for them wherever they are. Lord, reach them and heal thy people. Many of us in our congregation, Lord, are looking for jobs. I pray that you are going to provide. Men are doing their jobs, their, their businesses, and they are not doing well. I pray that you are going, Lord, to restore their businesses, Lord. You are our whole Lord. We don't have any other hope. We are trusting you for great and mighty things. And I know, Lord, you are going to manifest yourself. Because we are not alone, we are with you. I thank you and I worship you and I adore you. Because you are God who hears our prayers and you answer our prayers. Every petition which you have brought unto you, we have been bringing unto you, Lord, I pray that you are going to respond to our prayers. We bless your name. We worship you and we adore you. Have your way in our lives. Receive and glory this afternoon. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen.